In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the do while loop to print the sort of even numbers from one up to any given number. In my previous videos, I taught or explained how to use the for loop to print the set of even or odd numbers from one to any given number. We also looked at how to use the while loop to print a set of even or odd numbers from one to any given number. Now, the do while loop is used when the programmer wants to execute the code at least once before it tests for condition. So anytime that you have a code or you have a program that you have to execute a group of code for at least once before you test for condition, then the do while loop is recommended. The do while loop has the following general format. The first statement is the do. Then there is an open brace just after the do. Now, the brace is closed down and there is a while keyword followed by the boolean condition or expression. Then you put a semicolon there to close it. Now, between the do and the while is your block of statement. That is the statement that you want the do while loop to execute. So, you first write your do, then down there you have your while. But don't forget to open the brace right after the do and don't forget to close the brace before you write the while. Then after the while you now open parentheses and put in your boolean expression. Then after that don't also forget to bring a semicolon to close it. So if you look at the format of the do while loop you can see that it is a little bit different from the while loop. Now let us go to the IDE and look at the program. Hello. The first thing I will do here as usual is to create a variable to hold input from my keyboard and I'm going to declare an integer value int. I'm calling it number to hold input. I'm also going to declare another variable and initialize it that is going to be my control variable and it's going to be an integer. I'm calling it stats and I'll initialize it to 1. Let me add a comment here. So that is the initialization and that is the control variable. The start is the control variable. It is going to control the number of iterations that the do while loop has to go through. And you have to initialize the control variable before it can be used. Now, my program is going to ask the user to input the data. So I'm going to create what we call a scanner object here to take input from the keyboard. I'm going to type scanner. And the moment I type scanner, the IDE automatically imports this statement. This is called an import statement. Now, it is to make available the scanner class from the Java API to my program. The scanner class is not automatically loaded into my program. I want to use the scanner class because I want to take inputs from my keyboard. And because it is not part of the default um, APIs that are loaded into my program, I have to import it from the API manually. Now I have set my IDE such that anytime I type any class that I need, the IDE automatically fetches for that class and import it for me. Now I'm calling it the scanner class, I'm calling it in. Now in the event you have not um, customized your IDE to do that automatically for you, that means you always have to type yours manually because the moment you type it the ID will underline and tell you that it doesn't recognize it because you know scanner cannot be resolved to a type so you have to type the import statement yourself here and when you do that so you type it needed for the scanner class And when you do that, the scanner is no more underlined. Now you can still see a red sign here because I have not finished my statement. But if you take off the um, import statement, the scanner class will be underlined and you'll be told that it cannot be resolved. Now let me take it off again and see something. Yes, you can see the red sign there. Now if you don't want to type it, just place your cursor on it 
and go to import scanner and the id will do that for you here so that is needed for scanner class let's go on to complete our scanner object use the new keyword to create a scanner class a scanner object sorry okay so let me add a comment create a scanner object now i want to print something to the console to give instruction to my user so that he or she can enter the number that he or she wants so system dot out dot prints and you tell the user that enter a number now right below here i'm going to put the number variable because it is going to hold whatever you type into the keyboard and i'll call the scanner reference variable because i want to use the scanner methods i'm calling the nest int method it is used to take integer values and that's what i've done here so let me add a comment here take inputs now i have my control variable that is the loop control variable i know where my program will start and i know where it will end that is this number i'm going to find a set of even or odd numbers from one up to this number i can now go on to you know type my do while loop because i don't know the control variable and of course i have initialized it too so you type do then you open the brace and press enter automatically the ID will create a closing brace for you and after that type your while then open and close parenthesis and type your condition there now I want to iterate from 1 to the given number number here because I want to find a set of even or odd numbers between this range so type starts and bring less than or equal to then you type number here then the last thing here is that don't forget to end it with a semicolon you are done with a do while loop what is left is the statement or the block of statements that you want the loop to execute so during the first iteration i said that the do while loop execute um statement at least once before it, it tests the boolean expression so during the first iteration the value of the stats is one and of course the number is what you enter here so during the first iteration i want you to use the if statement and check whether when you take the start value you divide by two is the remainder equal to zero if it is so then that means that that number is an even number and if it is i want you to print it out for me here so i'm gonna have this so uh sorry you print the stats for me then you leave space horizontally now right after doing this don't forget i talked about three things when you talk about a loop initialization boolean expression and the last thing is the update expression so here you have to add the update expression from one up to the number i am increasing the um initialization or the initialized value by one so to increase it by one the control variable is start and i'm going to type start equals start plus one and this thing means that um, after the first iteration you know the value of or um, during the first iteration actually the value of the uh, start is one so after testing and printing this the update expression execute and here we will have one plus one that is two and two will now be equated to start so that means start will now hold the value two so after executing this block of um, statement the control variable will be incremented from one to two and the boolean expression will be tested it will now go back now after executing this again we will have two plus one and then the start will now go to three so you can see that the control variable is increasing um right after each iteration now if you don't want to time this whole thing you can abbreviate it and type just starts plus equals one now if you look at this is very clear the variable that is repeating itself you know we used to have the initial one was i type stats equals 
stats plus one so you can see that I have two stats here so you just have to um, take off one of the stats and you make sure that the operation sign is on the side of the variable repeating in this case it cannot be stat equals plus one no it rather has to be stats plus equals one so you bring the plus thing on the side of the variable that is repeating itself now if i do not even want to do this i can take it further and to do that i can change this to stats plus plus and that will also be okay for me here all right now let us go back to look at this um, I seem to have a problem here because I have one parenthesis here but here I have two so I'm going to take one out from here so that it will be okay all right that is one thing that is good about the ID where you have uh, made a, a mistake without knowing the ID will prompt you so that you make the necessary correction before you run the program so now let us have a look at this the last thing is that I created a scanner object here so I um, open the program for input and I have to close the scanner object here so that is the last thing I'm gonna do here I'm going to type in dot close and I'll close it so um, it is close scanner object so that is that and I'm ready to go let us test the program and see it says enter a number I want to find the sort of EV numbers from 1 up to let me check the number 30 three zero and I'm going to have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen up to thirty these are the set of even numbers from two up to thirty let me try it again with another number this time around I'm typing the number seven the set of even numbers from one to seven is two four six now if I want to find a set of odd numbers I just have to change one statement here if you look at the if statement it says that when you divide the value of the stats by 2 if the remainder is equal to 0 then you execute this the percentage sign that you see here is what we call the modulo operator or the remainder operator it means that after every division it retains the remainder of that division now during the first iteration we will have 1 divided by 2 and 1 divided by 2 of course the remainder is not going to be zero so during the second iteration two it will be two divided by two and it's one remainder zero so that is what it does here now instead of using the equal sign here and let me stress this again in java if you want to type equal sign we use the double normal equal signs it is not just one equal sign one equal sign is what we call the assignment operator and the double is the equal sign now I'm going to type not equal to and with that you have to type exclamation then you bring one equal sign so I'm saying that if you divide the number by two and it's not equal to zero in other words if it is an odd number then print it out because an odd number is a number that is not exactly divisible by two it is a number that when you divide by two you get a remainder that is not zero okay so let me run the program again this time around I'm going to try the number 30 again I'll press 30 and I'll see the set of odd numbers from 1 up to 30 of course from 1 to 30 the set of odd numbers are 1 3 5 7 up to 29 the number 30 itself is not an odd number thank you